and welcome to WRVB and WRVB Studios. You know, I'm here and I'm going to do the interview and I'm dealing with the cough. <coughs> so excuse me as I cough during this interview a little bit. But the gentleman sitting next to me, like me, has came up with an idea that wasn't really around for a long time and made a business out of it. And he, as you guys know, for, I started this industry so many years ago. And it's so cool to deal and interview with somebody who thought outside the box, became an entrepreneur, which means that he's foolish like me. He makes probably $1.87 an hour like me. But I want to introduce you to Dwayne. Hey, Dwayne. Hey, Wayne. How are you? Good. So, Dwayne, you started Extreme Mobile Gaming. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm going to guess that what you do... <clears throat> is instead of you are a mobile mm -hmm. arcade we are we are is that it yes extreme mobile gaming is just that we're a, a mobile gaming unit uh servicing uh birthday parties schools aftercare programs churches you name it and we're there and instead of you packing your family up or getting your kids together and actually going out to a facility i bring the party to you so how long are you doing it? Uh, November will make uh, <coughs> two years. Okay. And I can tell you guys, most of you probably never even heard of basically what he does because I didn't. Right. Okay, so you do it two years. Why? What made you want to do this? Well, well, I'm a gamer. My, my kids are gamers. And, you know, in today's world, you got to think of that, that what's next, you know? So kind of like you, Wayne, starting this company, it was kind of like a dream that you had. And this was a dream that I had. And, and, and eventually I said, you know what, I'm just going to do it. And I did it. And the uh, funny part is I got very little support, probably kind of like what you had. <laughs> I get, I got... Don't be stupid. Get a real job. It's a pipe dream. Absolutely. That's what I got. Uh, you and me both. And, and I remember when I when I built our, our gaming theater, uh, I came home, Wayne, and like I was excited. I was my neighbors loved it, and I and I posted it on the social media, and I I did everything right as far as marketing. And my phone didn't ring that first day, <laughs> uh, and but the second day it did, and it was a friend of mine, and he was like, "What is that? What is that exactly?" And I I did my whole spiel of what it was and how it'd be great. And he was like, "Well, you think you can come like down this Friday to Melbourne and maybe entertain my kids?" And I did it, and guess what? Every day after that, I've been busy. Okay, so. Is it a truck? What is it? It is. It's 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 a it's a it's a trailer that that's pulled by my my Chevy twenty five hundred truck, and it's a it's a gaming theater. So I'll explain it to you. It's a it's a it's a thirty four foot gaming trailer, state of the art. It has two televisions on the outside. We have five on the inside. Wow. Uh, PlayStation five, PlayStation fours, Wii's, Nintendo Switches, uh, you name it. Over one hundred and ninety games that you can choose from. So if your kids are in the games, if you uh, even if you're not in the games you know we have something for everybody from four to 44 so how many people can be playing at one time good question so uh it's kind of dependent on the game but i can house up to 28 kids at the same time and what i mean by the game some games like a say a brand new spider-man or a, a gta those are single player games a Fortnite, right. that's a single player game but i got games also where i get eight players at the same time on a, on a television so with the seven gaming consoles you know, i can get up to 28 30 kids at one time Okay, because I was going, man, at a party, there must be tons of fights with these kids wanting to get in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Do you put a time limit on how long they can play? Well, no, kind of, kind of. The parties are kind of, you know, you think about it. Thirty kids is a lot of kids. Thirty people are a lot of, right. a lot of. But sometimes we do schools, and sometimes, of course, I take the amount of kids and break it up into the amount of time that we have available, and we kind of break it up. So sometimes their gaming session can be thirty minutes, forty minutes, depending on the amount of kids. But usually, when we pull up to a party, you know, say twenty kids get on board, I have your twenty kids for the whole uh, two hours. They're on the truck. They're playing. We're engaging, uh, you know, we're swapping out the games. You know, they might want to go from a, you know, a retro Pac-Man to a, a brand new, you know, Mortal Kombat. Or Zelda? We do have Zelda, believe it or not. <laughs> you just told on yourself. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I used to play Zelda for hours and hours and hours. On the original Nintendo? Uh-huh. Wow, it's crazy. So I got to tell you, um, uh, my mom 
I was about uh I know I had to be elementary school and and you know I had a frugal mom. She didn't she didn't spend a lot, but I remember as a birthday gift she came home with a Nintendo and the game that I got with that Nintendo was Zelda. It was on a gold cartridge. <coughs> and, and I yep. played that game for hours on top of hours on top of hours. So. And you know, it's interesting cuz my daughter was a kid when it came out. <coughs> and she would watch Warlock. Yeah. Pet Cemetery, all scary movies. She was right. okay, even though she was like <laughs> six or seven or ten, whatever. Right. She would play Zelda, and the Nintendo was in her room, but she was not able to go to sleep with a cartridge in the machine. Wow. I had to take the Zelda. She had to take it out before. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. yeah like yeah. really. Now it's scary, and it's scary, scary. That's scary, scary. You right. can't leave the, the. You can't leave it in the machine. But I'm older than Derek, so I remember Pong. I don't. Oh know. yeah, you just really told her. <laughs> <laughs> A lot of viewers probably don't even know what Pong is, but yeah, you just went back, back. Okay, so the philosophy is, you want to use him because. If you're the one that pays him to come, you can have all the time you want on the machine because you're the paying one. <laughs> right, you're, you're the paying customer, and it's that simple. Like I've been, I was just uh, before coming here, I was looking at some of my reviews online, all awesome reviews, and one thing was just convenience. You know, you think about it. I pull up to your party, all your kids get on my gaming theater, I keep them for the two or three hours that I'm there. I, I let them off, they eat pizza, sing happy birthday, and that's your party. <laughs> you know, no more balloons, no more uh, clowns, and, uh, no more clowns division. or anything of that. You know, it's a, you know, I just. I take the party and usually while I'm facilitating and of course entertaining the kids, the parents are in the house, you know, having great conversations, drinking a glass of wine, just relaxing, you know, until I send the kids back out. So So you're in some similar space with me, which is technology. Correct. So in the two years you started, has there been changes in the technology? Well, it has. Changes <coughs> and uh, challenges, believe it or not, just to remain current of what's going on in, in the gaming world. Like currently we're going into our VR world. Like remember this, the VR is the thing of the future, just being able to put on these virtual headsets and being over to being able to zap into a whole different world of metaverse and technology is changing every day and good thing with extreme mobile gaming we're up with technology you know the latest games the latest technologies the 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 best games even with PlayStation 5s they're there you can't get them anywhere we have them you know we have three on our truck right now can't kids see them and they go to screaming because you know they're not familiar they've seen it on TV but they haven't been able to touch it but right. we provide them did you we spoke about this. Did you get family support when you wanted to start this? Oh, man. Believe it or not, my mom supported uh, my brother. My brother didn't understand the technology. My mom didn't either, but they believed in me. Kind of like, you know, hey, if, if, you, if you saying it'll work, I got trust in you that it will work. And it just did that. You know, uh, some friends were like, what are you doing? I don't understand. You know, uh, people really did. And I did have some support uh, from my significant other. She was like, just go for it. And, and, and it's working. And I'm just, you know, kind of like you, you know, we're able to look back and be like, wow, we're glad that we followed, we followed our first mind and right. pursued. So if I decide that I'm going to have a party, and I hire you. What do I need to have? I need to have electric. No, you don't need anything. Great question, by the way. We're all self-contained. I got two big generators. I got a Predator 9500 and a Cummings generator that's pushing my gable unit. So we pull up. You don't do anything. I push one button. I let the truck cool off for about five minutes. It's kind of hot, hot in South Florida. We let it cool off for about five minutes, and then I'm ready to go. Wow. Games are loaded. Kids jump on board. I talk about the rules a little bit before we get started. Of course, no running or jumping or eating or anything of that nature. And of course, I talk to the kids about what they have to do if they want to change the game. Different games, different parties. Some churches at school. I kind of stay away from the graphic games. No shooting or no, you know, gore games. You know, some parents are like, hey, they do it already. Just let them have whatever. So I talk to the kids about the games. We get the party started and that's it. It's that simple. So do you... So me as a parent, I, I call you and I want to hire you, and I say, do you say, hey, is it okay if we play this game, this game, or do I have a choice to... Absolutely, absolutely. <clears throat> so at, on my website, ExtremeMobileGaming.com, right. it asks you a, a whole bunch of questions, and that's one of the questions. Hey, you know, we have R-rated games, we have PG games, are they the E games for everyone? And you have the option to choose what games you want, you know? And it's crazy because sometimes I, you know, I may pull up to a church and they're like, hey, I want GTA. That's yeah. Grand Theft Auto, by the way, one of the craziest games in the world. But, you know, and of course, you know, 
know, I try to, to, to branch off and offer other games that are available that they can play. But uh, you would have the option if you book us to choose what games are played at your party. Okay. How many people are with you? Do you, do you do it by yourself? Well, I have I have I have assistants, but a lot of times, you know, I'm the operator and owner. Mm -hmm. So of course, naturally, I'll be the person that's going to be coming to your party. Now, sometimes when it's like the bigger parties or the um, the Friday fest or the big conventions, of course, I bring some additional help because I have the TVs on the outside right. as well on the as as the inside. And of course, with the schools, when we're doing a whole bunch of uh, you know people coming in, of course, I'll get somebody to help because some of the games. Depending on the kids, we have to kind of be more involved, you know, on how, you know, some teenagers, they get on the truck, they know exactly what to do. Right. With my smaller kids, you know, four to five year olds, it takes a little more, requires a little more. Is there an age that you'll... That I'm, yeah, good question. So as long as they can understand, you know, you think about it today, uh, kids and technology, you see kids running around with phones and iPads and video game, uh, you know, Nintendo Switches. So if they're able to hold a phone and play, they can get on a truck and play. And like I said earlier, like I got games for everybody. You know, I have Mario Kart games where they can just hold a, a steering wheel and just turn and drive cars, you know. What happens, are you a weather-based company, meaning if it rains, can I still have you here? Great question. Uh, I don't care if it's snowing outside. We we pull up and we aim to please. Now, we haven't, I'll knock on wood, run into a situation where there's a, a hurricane, but I think you'll have to turn to, uh, change the whole date of that whole right. event. But if it's raining, if it's, if it's sunny, regardless of what the weather is, we'll still be able to produce. So if it's raining, you just have them inside? Of course, exactly. And we have an awning that goes on the outside of our oh, truck. Oh, okay. So if it's a slight drizzle, they can kind of still, still go underneath. Out. And play. Okay. Yep. Now, if it's a <coughs> terrible rain, you know how Florida is. Sometimes we get the just that five minute terrible rain. Exactly. <laughs> you know, they're able to, to continue to party. But uh, guess what? I have kids that get off of the truck and they didn't even realize that it was a big rainstorm outside. <laughs> <laughs> so, my question is someone books a party. What's the time? I mean, do they stay an hour? Do you mm -hmm. stay three hours? Well, our minimum booking is a two-hour party. Okay. It's a two-hour party, and I think that's plenty of time for the kids to get in and come. Now, the thing with two-hour parties, a lot of time our, our party is over, and the kids are like, no, I want more, yeah, I want yeah. more. And if we have the availability on that date, you know, they're able to book another hour, but chances are it's not, because usually when we're finishing a party, we're cleaning up, we're sanitizing, we're shutting down, and we're heading to an another party. That's, I mean, that like for me, I look at that, like I look at this, Yeah. how you took something that wasn't and made something that is. Right, right, okay? right. And that <clears throat> is a blessing. And I don't think people understand the entrepreneurial spirit. Right, right. Okay? Because, hey, look, he just booked a party for whatever dollars, and he's making all this money, but it really doesn't work that way. Right. Because you have to pay for insurance. Oh, Absolutely. Okay, you have to pay for maintenance. Absolutely. New, new technology. Absolutely. All the time. All the time. Okay. So it's not, being an entrepreneur is not always as simple as people might think. Correct, correct. But you could get a job for $40 an hour or you could be an entrepreneur for $20 an hour and that $20 difference, you making $20 less gives you this whole different kind of feeling. Absolutely. Uh, and that's where I am right now. You know, I wouldn't, I wouldn't change what I'm doing right now for anything in the world. Just the, the peace of mind. I, I love making people smile. And you think about it, you know, just for, for parents, you know, you don't know what to do. Uh, you know, when we were growing up, of course, I know with me, my mom was, like I said earlier, a lot frugal than a lot of parents are today. But today, you know, we want to we want to make our kids happy. You know, know, and uh, <laughs> just kidding, and, just kidding, uh, and, and and just imagine, you know, if your kids are in the video games or their friends are in the video games, you think about it. You know, we pull up and we entertain. So, and I wouldn't, I wouldn't change it for anything in a while. When little Johnny comes out and you see that smile on his face and he's excited and his friends are excited <clears throat> and they're high fiving you at the end of the party, and you can't buy that. You can't buy that. The way they hug their parents at the end and thank them, it's it's just it's priceless. You know. For WRPB, we've been around a long time. We used to do kids' night out on Broadway. Mm -hmm. We'd take 25 to 50 kids that were in group homes, underprivileged, oh, wow. and take them to see a play. Right, wow. And they would come out and they'd give you a hug. Yeah. And you can't buy that. No, you cannot. And that's just called giving back. Now, does your wife game? I'm not married right okay, now. Okay, does your 
does your right right my significant other yeah yeah but i do have a fiance but uh uh, uh she came she didn't but she will she yeah. does she she she'll pick up and that's the thing like i get moms that get on the truck all of the time and they're like i don't i don't game at all and i throw a remote control in their hand next thing you know they they're playing a video game or the moms love to just dance we're able to do just okay. dance on the inside or outside of the truck. And when music is going and you give them the remote control, you know, I peek back out the door and I got eight moms outside doing a hokey pokey. <laughs> <laughs> what is the most popular game that you deal with there? Oh, I know it probably at one point it was Fortnite. Fortnite is an awesome game. That's an internet based game. You wouldn't believe like uh, it, it's a variety. It's depending on the on the kid. You know, you got the brand new Madden that's out right now or the 2K. Uh, that's the basketball game. You got the brand new Miles Morales. That's the 2022 version of Spider-Man. Uh, Minecraft, believe it or not, is a, is a so? is still a popular game. Like one of the number one requested games when they get on a the truck, they want right. to play and they'll sit on it for hours. Mario Kart. Heart, Smash Brothers, like you name it. So, you mentioned we talked about Fortnite, and it's an internet-based game. Correct. Do you have internet? I do have internet. We do have okay. Wi-Fi. Now, we depending on the Wi-Fi right, guys to give us that. The, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sometimes we pull up the parties, and it's like you know, let me turn on this internet. And of course, we are uh, pushing off a, a, a satellite, so it's kind of like you know, if we're in the right area, we can get it. But it's no problem because even if we can't pull up Fortnite at that minute, you know, you got 186 other games to choose from. <laughs> you know. How do you know, as a businessman, how do you know, hey, I'm going to spend, and I'm just picking numbers, uh, $50 on this game because I know this game is going to be right. one that works. How do you pick your games? Truthfully, I, this is bad for me. I buy everything. <laughs> I, I, I don't, I don't uh, uh, you know, I have a partnership with, with Sony, with PlayStation, where, you know, I'm getting discounted games, so they just want to make sure that they I have the latest games. Because you think about it, the games, the kids get on the truck, they play this game, and they may done. love it, and they want to go home and purchase this game. So they make sure that I'm loaded with, with everything. And to be honest with you, sometimes I get games that never get called on, but it's that one kid two months from now say, hey, I want this particular <laughs> game. But when we open up my catalog, it's there. That's so, that's yeah. so great. Okay, we're at the top of our time. How do people find you? You have a website? Yes, yes, please. Uh, you can Google Game Truck uh, Port St. Lucie. I'll pop up <coughs> Extreme Mobile Gaming. Our website is extrememobilegaming.com. Uh, you can go there. It's a lot of information because on top of the uh, Game Truck parties, uh, we offer outdoor laser tag. Oh, uh, yeah, dude, oh. which is awesome. We set up the obstacle in the in the yard, and the kids run out with these these uh, these rifle and these laser tag taggers that they run around playing free for all team deathmatch. I have a backyard fortnight that we do that that's awesome and we also have inflatables also that we can set up prior to the game truck getting there oh so you can make a whole carnival basically Listen, one call one stop shop extreme over gaming okay and a phone number i know you have a, a toll free it's number. a toll free number uh from anywhere one eight seven seven twenty four extreme uh if i'm not in the office it comes it comes to my cell phone so don't hesitate to call even and i tell people this so they don't believe me. i think people try me but i get calls three four in the morning like hey i didn't think he was going to pick up but it, it comes straight to my cell phone and it has a special ring so when i hear it ringing while i'm asleep i'll get up and take your call and my last question is what how far north and south or west will you go good question oh man I, I this is a good and bad question because i've i've I, i'll tell you a quick story so i got a okay. phone call and uh Sorry. i got a phone call in in fort myers this guy called and was like hey i uh i want you to come to fort myers and i was like sir that's kind of out my it's kind of far he's like i don't care what it costs i want you to my son found this website we gotta have you there and i was like it's kind of far he was like well, how much do you usually cost i said something like that you know so i threw a price at him he said add Fifteen hundred dollars on top of that income. I was like, "What? What time do you want me yeah. to pull up?" So, so, That's right. so I pulled up, and uh, when the booking came through, it was it was weird. So the booking came through. It said Sammy Watkins. Name sound familiar. So I was like, Sammy Watkins, Samuel Watkins, sound familiar. I didn't realize it until I pulled up. It was the wide receiver for the Arizona Cardinals, based out of Fort Myers, did something for his, his family. And I pulled up huge and wouldn't believe it to see him play his self on Madden. The football <laughs> game was was priceless. So That's great. And he's still in contact. He he he, he forwarded the uh, fly on his page. And so I'm getting a whole bunch of calls from the West Coast now. But I'm, I'm, I'm Brevard County, uh, Palm Beach. Beach County, Okeechobee counties, of course, St. Lucie County, Indian River counties. You call me, and I'm there. And Martin County, because you know what? Yeah, <laughs> Martin County is just a great county. They are. They're growing. Hey, big shouts out to one of my my 
biggest areas right now. I didn't even know Palm City. City. Palm City, man. Kudos I to you do, guys. I do a lot of work out of Martin County. Right. Um, I have, and I'm part of the Stuart Martin Chamber. Cool. And they are just a blessing. I hate chambers. Right. But they are a blessing. They are, they are great. I'm actually, every other Friday, I'm at a, a rehabilitation center in, in a store. Oh, really? Yeah, I'm, I'm there in center. It's, 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 it, and that's to let you know, it's not just for kids. But every other Friday night, I'm pulling up and, you know, you're getting these people that are coming out and we're playing video games every Friday night from like 9 to 11 p.m. at night. So. And I know we're out of time, but I have to ask you one more question. <clears throat> so age is not an issue. No, not at what all. What about time? Is there a time where you say, hey, you know what? It's 11 o'clock. I'm not going to work past 11 o'clock. Oh, no, no, no. Just like you, we work. Ah. You know, if they, if she, you call me at 2 o'clock in the morning, hey, I'm having a party, I'm pulling up, you know. So, yeah, but we're, we're there. You know, so we, we fit every situation, you know. So if you're there at 11 o'clock at night, midnight, we'll be there. ExtremeMobileGaming.com? That's right. Thank you so much for having me, Everybody Wayne. have a great day. We'll be right back.